All right, guess what day it is? It's Friday, and a little mini update for you guys, uh, courtesy of Anton Hand, the developer of H3VR. And he added some new stuff. Oh, I kind of spoiled it too early right there, but uh, yes, got two new toys in the uh, arsenal. And uh, if you can see, we've got the classic M4 back, which is pretty nice. Got a retractable stock. The classic handguard, which doesn't have any rails on it, which is fine. A lot of people want that. And of course, back from the dead, come here, is the um, carry handle. So now you can put the carry handle back on. And uh, yeah. You can, oh yeah, you can actually flip down that uh, rear sight. Larger aperture, larger hole you want whoops I whoa that is that is actually pretty cool uh, you can actually grab the carry handle you know <laughs> walk around carry this thing that's actually pretty cool I didn't know you could do that but uh, yeah there you go classic m4 whoops freaking out there a bit got the dust cover Oh, there we go. Because uh, if you hold the touchpad right, I think, while pulling back the charging handle, you can lock the bolt back. That's kind of standard in all, uh, all uh, you know, AR pattern rifles. So let's charge this baby. And uh, since we're not in the firing range, I'm going to spawn a couple of sausages here. And we are on... Semi, gonna go to auto. Oh, let me just open up the uh, little hole there. You can see down the sights, pretty nice. Actually, let's go semi auto. I forget I'm left handed, so I have to do this to check. Usually, you would go like this check, check if it's clear, put another mag in. I don't know what I'm doing, but I should switch this to fully automatic. Oh, did I get somebody? I got somebody. No, he wasn't dead. Now, that sausage is... I think that was five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good stuff. Classic, classic M4 pattern. Look at that. Take off the carrying handle. Oh, hold on. There we go. Touchpad down. Uh, let me just uh, find it here. Yep, that's uh, about all the accessories they put in for this one. Just a carry handle. Hey, you know what? Let's take a look at the other gun, too. This is the Pat... the... what is this again? The Phantom 9. This almost said Patriot 9. It's sort of a uh, AR-styled uh, little carbine, carbine, whatever you want to call it. Semi-auto only. And uh, it uses Glock magazines. Look at this. Yep, your standard Glock mag. Put that in there. And, uh... Oh, wait a minute, I'm on safe. Well, semi-auto. It's only semi-auto, which is uh, kind of a shame, but, you know, it's okay. You can deal with that. You use the long magazines. Ah, two points. And, uh, yeah, let me see if I can use any of the other... Glock magazines here. Let's uh, load up a Glock. G. Actually, this is the uh, G17 mag. Works with that. They're all interchangeable, from what I've heard. This is the G30, uh, G19, 33 round magazine. <laughs> G30. That's, that, that doesn't exist. 
Sorry, there's so many Glock models out there, it's just insane. The only one I'm really familiar with is the uh, Glock 21, which is uh, what we owned for a while. Uh, let's see, Glock 19, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Glock 22 magazine. Does that work? Oh, no, it doesn't. Since it's 40 Smith & Wesson, this is a 9mm. This is the, um, yeah, doesn't work with that, so... 40 Smith & Wesson doesn't work. You can try to put it in. Just won't. <clears throat> uh, what else is there? Let's see. Is there any other Glock mags here that, uh, that I've missed? G22. G19. G17. Oh, the custom mag. Let's uh, see if this works. Oh, yeah. 9x19. Correct. All right, got that little cool little uh, uh, magazine floor plate thing. I don't know what that's called. I'm not too sure. Um, all right, so 17 custom, 17. Anything else? No. Uh, let me go to machine pistol here. Glock 18. 18 mag. Obviously, will work since it is 9 millimeter. Nice, nice. That's a Glock 19 mag, extended. Uh, anything else? That's apparently it for the uh, Glock mags, but yeah, so any any Glock mag that chambers in 9 by 19 millimeter will work on this thing. Let's try the carry handle. Of course, that will fit. So you can make your own little uh, <laughs> weird uh, Franken... Oh. Hold on. Taking the taking the carry handle is pretty hard, but I want to try something. Let's see if um, let's see what this carry handle can fit on. Let's try uh, P90. You put this thing on. It's a little too oversized, but it works. Just grab this. Oh, that is a weird thing. You, I mean, it's really hard to take off sometimes because again, you can grab it now. And it becomes like an actual carry handle. So you can carry your weapon around. Like that. Oh, carrying it by the carry handle. It's like a little suitcase handle. But yeah, taking the uh, attachment off is pretty hard. So, ah, wait a minute. Hold on. So it'll fit on all rails, obviously. I mean, uh, again, taking it off is pretty hard. Okay, so let me see what... Can I put here Honey Badger? Okay, you can put the carry handle there too. And the dogs are barking, sorry about that if you can hear that. Take this off again. <laughs> I mean you can you can do a lot of good stuff with this carry handle now. Put this on here. <laughs> you want a you want a kit is it actually accurate with a carry handle on though? Acts like a sight, so probably. Let's spawn a sausage here. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's. Uh, oh, uh, that's. There's no front sight on this thing, so um, yeah, that's. Uh, that is. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> There's a rear sight, no front sight. So let me see if I can uh, attach something here. Do some backup irons. All right. Well, this comes with an iron sight. Oh wait, it's too too small. All right. Let's just move this up uh, here. And uh, yeah, no, that's just too small. You can't do anything with that. So, carry handle is for looks only. You can't really use it without a front sight. <laughs> that's just uh, huh. MP. Are these tall enough? Let me see. Hold on. Stick this baby up here. No, it's not. Oh. So yeah, I mean, it works like a carry handle, but it's pretty useless as a sight because you don't have a front sight right there. There's a front sight post right there. Rear sight right there. So. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me try something here. 
See if there's anything else I can use this thing on. No, no, not that. Let's see. Uh, nope. Hmm. That one doesn't have a front sight either, so. Well, it's kind of limited in use, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, you have a uh, carry handle. <laughs> Let me see if I can trick this out a bit. Let me see. Hold on. Um, need some. <laughs> I would have used this one. Yeah. <laughs> And then we'll need to put a uh, front side. Actually, you know what? I think a rail riser might do the trick. Let's see. Rail riser. Tall? Tall or short. And, uh, yeah. Let me get, just grab this thing here. Let's try the tall one first. Nope, that's not it. This is... Nope, that's not what I want. Okay, we got one of these babies. Uh, Sort of? Wait a minute, hold on. This is not the right one. I think I threw it away. Get some backups here. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Hmm, okay, let's see if that works. Oh. I need a magazine for this. I need a Glock mag. Just go with a 33 rounder. Let me just spawn lock this. Okay. Let's see if this is accurate. Try the small. Uh, I can't see where it is. Nope, it's kind of off. Yep. See, I'm aiming directly at the sausage. Oh, actually, you know what? I have no idea what I'm doing. Bullet trails, yes. One second bullet trails. I'll show you. All right. I'm aiming at the head, and the bullet is actually hitting the panel right there. So, yeah, it's not aligned. So, you really can't treat this as a rear sight for anything unless it has a front sight post like that. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little off. Oh, well, one more time. Just make sure. I'm aiming directly at the head. It's hitting the uh, little cover there. So if I aim a little higher, a little higher still. There we go. I hit him in the head. So it was like about up there. Yeah, so this is uh, not going to work. Just looks cool, I guess. Taking it off is pretty hard. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh. Whoops. Need to get to the center of my play space here. <laughs> Let me try uh, tricking this thing out before I stop the video. Oh, that guy's still alive. Um, let's see, what kind of suppressor should I have for this? Corded suppressor? I'll try this baby out. Oh, no, that just doesn't fit properly, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll try something else. Uh, the corded suppressor will go on the uh, M4. Let me say, um, Uzi suppressor. This large beast of a can. Oh, it doesn't fit right either. Yeah. Oh, where was I? Well, keep forgetting that um, since Anton fixed the the, uh, the item spawner, you know, once you go out of something and you go back, there we go. That fits. Perfectly. Nice. Okay. Well, G19. And uh, let's see. The recommended uh, site for this is the SRS2. So I'm going to stick one of these babies on there. Ooh, nice. But uh, I'm not going to go with the recommended. I'm going to go with something else. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Decisions. Oh, I really love EOTech, so <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay. I'll go with that. 
Although I could move this a bit further, like right here. Or maybe on top, like there. I don't know. <laughs> it's all personal preference. Let's try a foregrip. Um, QC9, maybe? MX4. Something nice and small. Work really well with these kinds of weapons. Stick that in there. All right, pretty cool. I'm gonna stick with that for right now. Let me just, uh, whoops. <laughs> Grab the carrying handle. Let's grab the suppressor and let's get rid of this. Stick that on there. I might change that later on, but uh, yeah, you know. Oh, seem to have scanned the M4 Classic. That's not what I want. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Little Phantom 9. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Okay, grab this M4, get that corded suppressor on there. Oh, nope, doesn't seem to work with suppressor. That's kind of strange. Let's try the Uzi. Ah, that's a bug right there. Anton will fix that, probably. But yeah, you can't use a suppressor on this thing. Huh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Anton's going to fix that. So anyways, let's uh, stick a magazine in here. Let's leave the uh, bolt open like that. And let's scan it. Awesome. Now we can have two of these. Although I might delete it since uh, it doesn't accept suppressors. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> All this stuff. Ah. Let's go out with a bang. Go in the center. Oh, we got some got some sausage still alive. No more. Everyone's gone. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. <laughs> I really like the uh, carry handle now. That's pretty cool. Too bad it only works on uh, this weapon because of the, again, there's only the only weapon that has a front sight post. All the other uh, AR pattern rifles don't, such as the Honey Badger or the, that's a carbine. Yeah, this one doesn't have a uh, front sight post. Uh, the Mark 18 doesn't have a front sight post. Which is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Too bad. But you know what? It's still cool. I'm, you know, I don't really care that much. It's really nice to have a uh, the classic M4 back. Where is it? Hold on. Carbine. Right there so yeah all right so that's the update for today nothing new oh yeah i forgot the uh saucer weapons got a new look so the melee weapons so this is the tonto originally it looked like where is this uh 
tactical. Yeah, here we go. Originally it looked like this. Or less detailed, but still resembled this one. But now it looks like this. So, yeah. Uh, the difference between the two and all the other weapons is that some of the... Uh, some of the... Saucer weapons don't have the same functionality as... Uh, the real weapon. So this is completely different from this. For example, you can't stab. See? Just pokes them. You get poked. Oh, that's my wall. <laughs> you get poked. Whereas with the Saucig weapon, let me just... Oh. <laughs> Whereas with the Saucig weapon, you could stab. You can't do that with this. Just blunt damage. That's all you get. Same thing for the, let's see over here, the axe. Where is the axe replacement? Let me see, hold on. The Tomahawk, here we go. This was the uh, original Saucig model, was based off of this. With this you can, oh, wait, hold on. Nope. I thought you could, uh, hold on, maybe I'm doing it wrong. No, I thought you could. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe not with this one, but uh, no. There's no uh, trading damage. Okay, that's kind of weird. So yeah, I mean it looked like this. That was that was all the only thing. But you got the sausage weapon. Just does blunt damage. <laughs> And I think you can... Oh, no. that you could spawn lock it, but no. Yes, yeah, so it just does blood damage. And the crowbar, I don't think... Does any... Uh, whatchamacallit? Lodging? It's when you, like, stick it in their heads. I don't know if the crowbar could do that here. But this was the model that was based after. Or, based on, sorry. Now it's more appropriate. Although, I think it was smaller than this. It was also yellow, I think. Yeah, see, now you could lodge that thing, the crowbar, into the, uh, the Saucig. But now you can't do that with the um, Saucig weapons. Just blunt damage. <laughs> Just throw it there. Oh! Still alive, huh? So, hold on. Let me just clean up the scene here. Let's clear all the sausages. Let's see, spawn five. Um, crowbars, tontos, tomahawks. Let me spawn a gun here. Get my left hook. My pride and joy. <laughs> All right. Uh, wander fight. Grab some stuff. Oh, where did this guy go? <laughs> I don't want him to attack me here. What was up with that black rectangle? Uh, there's one behind me. I know it. <laughs> Gotta run. Double me. Oh no. You're dog meat. Oh no. I forgot to set it on fully automatic. Oh well yeah. So they still like the same. Just uh their weapons aren't so special anymore, <laughs> which is good. Anyways, that's about it. Extra bullet. Throw that away. And, uh, yeah, time to stop the video. Just find my computer here. And done.